Hi everybody, it's Sam here and today I'm launching my new swing collection. Some of you might be familiar with this style, I have shared it before on my channel but now I've got some dies that will create it for you and it will allow anything to swing in the middle of the card. So I've got these lovely little animals that I'm going to show you today. So here's a little chimp or monkey just swinging in at the centre there. Get these lovely flowers, all of the leaves, the aperture to cut it, the papers in the background. Any top folding card this mechanism will work on. So there's this easel style one here that I've made. This is Katie the koala just swinging there. So cute. I love the pretty flowers on that one. You get the little gecko there as well and that lovely wood grain embossing folder. There's also George the orangutan. I love this one here. Go bananas. You can have a circle aperture if you want. You can see the flowers there and I've got some sequins. So these are all tent fold cards and this piece here folds up inside so it will fold flat. And then I'll show you one more sample and this is this lovely toucan and the... Uh, Sentiment says they're just a token of my appreciation. Again, you can see him swinging there. And there's another embossing folder in the background. So I'm going to flip the camera around now. I'm going to show you the collection in more detail and the other samples that I've made. So this is everything in the new swing collection. So this is the die that will make the tent fold and the swinging parts so you've got the pieces here and then this is the base and then you've got your different apertures. If you have my double slider dies these ones here, these are the additions. So you've got the square, which has got the woodland scene, and then you've got the circle one there. These will also work with this collection and vice versa. So this aperture will work well with this as well. So I try to, you know, make sure that when I release something, it's going to work with a, something from a past collection. Then you've got your main stamps here. These are so much fun. So you've got your Just Hanging Around, which has your orangutan, the sloth, You've got the snake there and also the cheetah and you've got really fun puns just hanging around to say hi slow down it's your birthday happy retirement you've got your little signpost here and you can pop go wild in there go bananas you've got sending big hugs so there's some really nice ones there for many occasions and then you've got just chilling you've got the chimp or the monkey there really sweet he's lovely to color in you've got your toucan or you can color it and you know it can be other other birds as well you've got your little gecko and then you've got your koala there as well another sign so the hang in there will fit perfectly the two can do it fits in there party animal as well and you've got to spread your wings i hope your birthday is quality and wild about you party animal just a, just a token of my appreciation and have a wild birthday so that is your a5 stamp sets you also get your dies to cut out the animals there as well. You can buy these in bundles. And then you have your tropical leaves and flowers. So you've got, I love this one because it die cuts two pieces. So it will die cut the inside and then obviously that outer frame. So you can swap over the centre. So you can make some really nice looking flowers. This one I love. This is really nice to paper piece. You've got these ones here. You've got holes in the middle so you can pop stamens through them. And again, you can paper piece the middle here. This makes a really nice hibiscus. Layer these ones up. So there's some really nice styles that you can create. And you've got your centre there as well. Then you have the tropical leaves. You've got your palm leaf there. Other nice big big leaves there to use and you've got some hanging vines as well then you've got the two embossing folders I love these these are probably up there as my favorites this one in particular which is the wood slice and I've got an example here you can see that lovely effect that you get and that's just inked with a light brown and then I rubbed a darker brown over the top and then you've got your leafy background. I know I've spelt the end of this wrong. I made this very late at night before I launched on TV and um, it was picked up on the TV. It was quite funny, but th we'll forget about that. It's leafy background. But you can see here that lovely depth that you get when you add your different inks to the design there. It's really lovely. So they're both six by six. And then finishing with the six by six scenes paper pad. So again, if you've got the woodland scenes paper pad, you'll be able to mix those together. They look really nice. And you get six designs and there's four of each. So you have this one here. I love the pops of the pink against that really lush green colour. This one's one of my favourites. I just love those trees. And you have this one here again with those lovely flowers. Another one there. So you can have the obviously different animals hanging from the trees. And you have this one. And then you have this one. And then it's back to the beginning again. So that's a look at everything there. Now I'm going to show you some samples close up. So I've got quite a few here. Some of these are the ones that I made on TV. Now it's going to be hard for me to show you it's swinging because 
I've got to turn it up on its side, but this one here is one of my favourite ones. I've also added acetate to the front there, but he does move really freely. You can see there, and this one says just hanging around to say hi. And then on the back, you will have your space to write your message. These were all my samples, so I haven't done the backs on any of them, but I will do. And then they'll be ready to send out to people. But you can see all these lovely flowers. So there's the one I said about, you know, changing the centres. I've used some of my flat back pearls in the middle there and just all different shades of green. And it just and just build it up. It looks really nice. I've added the little snake here nestled amongst all the, the leaves and the flowers. And you can see there I popped a couple of stamens through the centre. So that's one idea. And then I've got this one here. So you can see with that one, that's cutting the decorative aperture. You can just see parts of it there. This one, I've just used the large circle, kept it very, very simple. This one's just sending you big hugs. Again, you can see where I've used the different flowers there. I've added some sequins. And again, you can see how nicely he will swing when it's all open. This is the tenfold part. So if you don't want to cut an aperture into this, you just want it as a tenfold. You can have some nice decorative paper on the front or just stamp the, the images and just build up a nice scene. It's entirely up to you. And again, obviously all the space on the back, but you can see the different background papers there. And this is a six by six card. The papers are six by six, so you're not having any wastage either. Then we've got this one, just a token of my appreciation. And there's that one where I said about paper piecing and building it all up. So really nice die, one of my favourites. And I just match the colours with the paper there. Easy to colour in as well. I use my coloured pencils with these. And I've also used um, acetate on all of the hanging pieces. So they really do look like they're swinging. But if you don't have acetate, you can die cut that using, you know, a green card, for example, and just stick more things attached to it. So you don't see it and i've used on the back there i've used the embossing folder and inked that up a little bit this is just a different example so anything that has a top fold you can add the mechanism to so this one is a easel card and i've used the koala again you can see she swings really nicely and i've used the wood slice embossing folder and then the excess that i cut out with the smaller circle frame i've used as my stopper on the bottom here so there's no waste on this card and you can see the background there and this one's have a wild breath in i've used gold and mirrored card and then with this one you could have your message you could write your message here if you want but you've got all the space on the back there and this one just folds like so in the envelope you can see there these will fit into a standard envelope but you may want to use a box envelope i'll link my box envelopes up here if anybody would like to see those ones and you've got the orangutan here i've just got go bananas again he does swing they've all got a really really lovely swing to them and just some more of that detail. I need to flatten some of these because they've travelled. This one, I like this one. I'm using the mirrored card. Just hanging around to say hi. So that's the decorative aperture. And then I've just added the leaves behind and then just done a little kind of cluster at the top there. I like that one a lot. I've got another one here with the koala. Just using the circles. I've got one of the vines hanging down. That lovely pink. And then you can see the way I've inked the background there just slightly different so I used a very very light green and then a darker green I used the actual pad and just brushed it over the top so that's another I think this was one that I made as a, a demo actually another monkey one there so you can see there's no acetate on the front of this one so you can see them probably a bit easier I'm wild about you and then just showing you other folds so this one here is a box card so you would have seen these on the, my channel before I am um, I've done some spinning Christmas versions but this one here you can see he swings at the front there and um, you can see the style of that and then I've used the embossing folder in the back and then you've got your space there to write your messages that's another orangutan one there with a different pattern paper then I've done this crisscross one spread your wings it just seemed to work really well with this style and again I've used that wood slice on the front so just giving you other ways to you don't have to use any of the swing part you can just use the flowers and the embossing folders and then I've got this one here which is the bay window card I've just used the pattern paper I put googly eyes on the snake there it looks really cool and this one just clips in there and then it says hang in there so you can write your message inside that part I have the bay window cards on my channel so I'll link those for you again just stamen in detail there and then i've got this one which is like the wreath style that i've shared on my channel but this time i've got him swinging from the top there again it does swing really nice it's just hard to show this style from my camera view slow down it's your birthday and i've just popped a little stopper in there but if you want to see how to make that style card just pop, just check out my wreath cards 
And then this one here is the swing fold, which I thought worked well again with the swing collection. I've just stamped the monkey there onto a circle, built up this little scene. And then this one, you can see how that swings around when it's open. Have a wild breath there, stamp the little gecko there, and I've used the embossing folder throughout. So you've got your space there to write your message. Again, six by six, it all folds nice into an envelope. Again, got this one on my channel, so you'll be able to see how to make that. And then just something really simple and really clean. And this is using the, the center of this piece is this here. So again, you know, don't throw those pieces away. They're really nice to use on more simple cards. This one took no time at all. Just a token of my appreciation. Maybe you just like the stamps and the embossing folders and you can make these lovely cards as well. So I hope you enjoyed this closer look at my latest release. Thanks for watching and I'll be back again very soon with fun tutorials using this product.